Hey guys, what's up? Steve, aka R and R Horror Hunter here. Um, I really haven't been uh, keeping up just as much on the Children of the Corn series reviews as I wanted to, but uh, I'm gonna finish up this particular set here today. I'm gonna do a double review here. Uh, 666 Isaac's Return and 7 Revelation um, as for my thoughts on uh, 666 Isaac's Return I thought it was good I thought it was a uh, slight step up from part 5 but I think it could have been a lot better because it does have its problems um, pros of this movie uh I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, John Franklin, yeah. John Franklin, who played Isaac in the original movie, is back as Isaac. Uh, and he's pretty cool. He's got some great quotes and stuff in here. Um, he's an interesting character. Uh, another pro, the acting is pretty much uh, um, what you could... Well, over what you would expect, I think. Um... It's slightly better than part five, uh, but not as good as part four, or the original, or number two, for that matter. Uh, but it is, uh, for the most part, pretty adequate. Uh, let's see. Um, the special effects are, eh, they're alright. They've got some good kills in there. Um... Also, the the title, I'm just going to go ahead and say the title is awesome. Uh, and I really think that the really big <coughs> excuse me, impact of the title comes from the word Isaac, not 666. I could have gone without the 666. I am a Christian, but I don't have a really big problem with it. Um... Yeah, so that's the pros. Cons, uh, the premise is a little bit off. Um, and the script, uh, if I were to read it, I would be pretty confused. I mean, the movie itself is just confusing as it can be. Uh, it's just so back and forth with stuff. And, uh, you know... That I think they're trying to do like kind of a who done it kind of thing with it, but it's just not working out. It, it just didn't work for me. Um, trying to make it kind of mysterious, but I don't. I really just think they should have gone with uh, kind of the same stuff that they did in part four and part five. Maybe add a little bit more supernatural stuff, but no, they had had just way too much supernatural stuff and. He Who Walks Behind the Rose was just hardly mentioned. Uh, or Well, he was mentioned, but it just wasn't, you know, it was different. It just seemed different, you know. So this is kind of an outlier, but it's alright. I'll give it a um, three and a half out of five stars. Now on to Revelation. Um, this is... An all right movie, but not a good movie either. And I don't, I don't like it, but I don't really not like it. I used to really, really hate this one, but but after watching it again, I can see how it could be kind of likable. But for the most part, it's it's just not a good movie. I mean, I think it's slightly better than Part Three. That's what I'll say. It, it's slightly better than Part Three, and slightly worse than Part Five. And, well, it's it's better than the, I think, uh, well, it might be on par with the remake, I'm not sure. But anyways, Revelation, uh, the pros, um, the direction's good, uh, it had an interesting premise, interesting, not really effective, but interesting. Um, it has some interesting kills, it returns to a more, uh, slasher kind of theme and uh, let's see the setting is interesting uh, Michael Ironside is in this movie this is not his best work but you know it's alright 
Um, I really can't say much else about it other than, uh, well, I mean, I, I can't really say any more good things about it. Cons, oh, the acting is not good in this movie. The premise, I said, was interesting. They really could have made something out of it, but they didn't. Um, there's actual nudity in this movie. You know, and the Children of the Corn movies, I just don't feel like movies that should have nudity in them. Um, there's a stoner guy in this movie, which is, you know, every slasher needs a stoner guy, but Children of the Corn just doesn't really seem like the right place for a stoner anyway. And, uh, yeah, just the characters weren't interesting, really. Didn't really care that much for the main heroine. Um, yeah, just, just pretty disappointing, I think. Um, for the most part, just not really that good. Oh, I did forget one, uh, one pro. One more pro. Um, one more pro about it. I did like the character of the priest in this movie. I mean, he's just barely shown, but there's a priest that's in this movie, and he's pretty cool. Um seems really interesting and knowledgeable about all the events, although we never really know why, and that's mostly a plot hole, so not really the character's fault. I do put fault in quotations. Um, but yeah, this is just not really that good of a movie. Uh, if you're watching the Children of the Corn movies, go ahead and watch it, but I mean, I really don't recommend it if you're just wanting to watch something. You know, so uh, I'd give this one one and a half star, maybe. We'll go with that. So I guess that's uh, it for this DVD collection here. Uh, I will very soon review part eight. Uh, I don't have the remake, so I'm not gonna review that. I'll just I'll, I guess I'll just go on and say I've seen the remake. I'll do a very quick thing here on it. The remake is not good and just not consistent with any of the movies whatsoever. Uh, it didn't really even reinvent it the right way like I'd expect them to, you know. And, uh, yeah, I'd have to give the remake maybe two out of five stars. Not really that good. Uh, so I'll, I'll do a review of Part 8 coming up soon. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do recommend most of the Children of the Corn movies, and as a whole, the uh, the entire series is pretty good as a whole. Um, not as good as Nightmare on Elm Street, but I actually put it over uh, Friday the 13th. Um, not, not in terms of real enjoyability, but in terms of, I think there's better, there's more good movies in this than there is in the Friday the 13th series. Friday the 13th series is just plain enjoyment, but it just doesn't have as many good movies as is, as is in this uh, series. So that's my review. Hope you liked it. Uh, rock on, guys. See you later. If you like, subscribe.